Good afternoon everybody. I am Dr. Arpita Gangwani. I am consultant obstetrician and gynecologist at Apollo Credo Hospital, Motinagar. Today I will be talking to all of you about the important screening test in pregnancy. So a screening test is any test which determines the probability of a health problem in a given population. So uh, a lot of screening tests are usually part of preconceptional care. Preconceptional means that uh, when you are visiting a doctor before planning a pregnancy. But uh, preconceptional care is not that big in our country. So usually we offer all the screening tests once you get pregnant. So once you get pregnant, the test, uh, we, we need to screen the mother for infectious diseases, some hematological disorders and of course genetic anomalies in the baby. So the first step is to screen for infectious diseases like rubella, HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C, syphilis. So these tests your doctor will uh, uh, write in the first visit of pregnancy. Then there are other disorders like in North India thalassemia is very common. So thalassemia screening by highly purified liquid chromatography is done for all pregnant patients. And if we find that uh, the mother is a career for uh, some trait, then we also do an HPLC, uh, HPLC for the husband. And if the husband also is the career for the same trait, then genetic counseling is offered to the couple about uh, how to go further in the pregnancy. Similarly, now uh, in the first trimester of pregnancy, it is very, very important for us to find out whether the baby is doing fine or not, the baby has any congenital structural anomaly or not. So, uh, uh, so there is a uh, battery of tests that we do and it starts in the, in the, between the 12th and the 13th week. The idea being that before 14 weeks we should know whether uh, the probability of having any congenital or genetic problem is more or not. So the first step is doing a level 1 scan also called as the NT-NB scan. NT stands for nuchal translucency, NB stands for nasal bone. So the level 1 scan is done between the 12 and the 13 weeks and uh, there are two uh, very important parameters that we see in the level 1 scan that's the NT and the NB. Uh, also the other important parameters are the ductus venosus flow, the tris uh, tricuspid regurgitations. They are all called the soft markers for something called as Down syndrome which is trisomy 21 which is, very, which is a very uh, commonly occurring uh, genetic anomaly in our population. In this, on the same day when we do a level 1 scan and when we measure the NT and the NB, NB, we also do a test which is called a dual marker. The dual marker is a blood test which measures two hormones which are the PAPE and the beta HCG. Once we find out the values of PAPE and beta HCG, a statistical analysis is done on, on the parameters like the NT and B, the PAPE beta HCG, the mother's age and we find out the probability of having trisomy 21, trisomy 18 and trisomy 13 in the mother. So uh, the dual marker along with the level 1 scan is called the combined screening. The combined screening gives us a lot of information that how to go ahead in this pregnancy, what more screening tests do we offer the mother and where do we put a full stop. Once the level 1 scan and dual marker are fine, then in the uh, second trimester around the 19 weeks we do a level 2 scan. The level 2 scan also uh, has, uh, we look at some soft markers because in the level 1 scan the baby is very small, it's the size of a lemon. So it is hard to uh, look at uh, uh, most of the uh, uh, structures and then that's why we do a level 2 scan. In level 2 scan also we have a list of soft markers that we see. So uh, if the level 1, level 2 dual marker is fine, we know that there is uh, hopefully very, very, very less chance that the baby has any anomaly. The second thing is, what if the uh, when we do a level 1 and the dual marker, the probability of something comes high. For example, the probability of trisomy 21 comes high. What next? So what comes next is that we offer the couple a genetic counselling. Uh, that genetic counselling entails going to a genetic counsellor and then the further testing is done. The, now this further testing is divided into two. The first is the NIPT and the second is the invasive testing. So the important thing that I want to tell all of you here is that NIPT is a screening test. It is not a confirmatory test. NIPT means non-invasive prenatal testing. In this we separate uh, cell-free DNA, cell-free fetal DNA from mother's DNA and we run a, 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 a screening test on that. Thank you.